Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of our metadata data dictionary tutorial. So in this part, I'm going to show you how to create a code book using the code book package written by Ruben Arslan. So included in that package is this nice web app that is really meant for folks who are not programmers. So if you are a programmer and you're familiar with R, Ruben's written a really nice tutorial on how to work with code book in R that allows you to do a lot more than the web app. The web app is really great for folks who have SPSS or embedded metadata files like we talked about in the last video who want to generate a codebook kind of quickly and easily. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to browse here. And what I want to do is work with a file that's going to have that embedded metadata. And here I downloaded this file from our online platform Qualtrics and did it in the SPSS format because that includes all of those value labels and the names of the questions kind of embedded in SPSS background under labels and value labels. Click open. And then there's a couple of things over here that you can change uh, on your own. So you can leave this to, as titled for codebook or you can give it a better name. Well, there's a bunch of code that you don't really want to change, but you can also edit here where it says we collected the following data. So I can type here to some other important information about the data set. So in general, we don't want to change anything here in these R setup files. This is a markdown file if you're not familiar. And if you really aren't familiar, you can just edit none of this. Okay. And it'll just say codebook and we collect the data but I could add my, maybe the citation or some other important pieces about the data. In general, to make data minimally readable, we at least need to know what the column names are and what those represent, what our kind of uh, one to seven mean, um, and then a, a citation. But the citation we can include in our online sharing platform. So here, we at least need data that can be read in a metadata format. After you do that, you just click Generate Codebook. Depending on how big your data set is, we'll change how fast this runs. So this is a lot of columns, so I'm just going to kind of give that a minute to run. Now we've got our codebook. So the codebook package here gives you a really nice HTML file that has the embedded JSON LD format in the background. So this report that you get out of Codebook is kind of both pieces at once. It is human readable, so we could scroll through and look at each of these pieces here, and it shows me the metadata. Um, so let's look here. So the metadata for search engine, so it's got our keywords, which is the names of the columns, and then works through each of the particular uh, columns one at a time. So let's scroll down here to a question we know has uh, labels. So what is your gender here for question 14? And so what we see is that it gave us the labels of the actual items, so male and female and other. And then um, we can look at summary statistics, which gives us, you know, a mean and standard deviation, which maybe isn't so useful for gender, but it also shows us the value labels. So males here are coded as one and females are coded as two. So this is really the, the crucial piece here for that kind of question. If I just kind of randomly pick a question that isn't a timing question. So here's one of our questions um, that says, you know, never true to always true, right? So I can see those value labels here. I can look at the distribution of the data. And then now our summary statistics make sense because this is um, an item that we might calculate the standard mean and standard deviation of. All right, so this has given us everything we want to do. So what we want to hit now is download Codebook. 
it saves as a HTML, or for me it says Firefox, but this is an HTML file. Hit OK. And then la later in the next video, we'll show you how to um, upload these to a place where you can share them, that they'll get picked up by Google's dataset search.